This is episode one, day one. This is gonna be a ride. Hi guys! It is officially October and you know what that means. 31 days of horror has begun. This is episode 1, day 1. This is gonna be a ride. Please get ready. <laughs> if you guys are new here and you aren't aware what 31 days of horror is, it is an annual event on my channel where I spam you for a whole month. But it's good. It's fun. It's interesting. <laughs> Pretty much every single day I give you a recommendation. So really what this is, is a vlog style mini review every single day of October and every movie that I talk about is a movie that one of you guys have requested and I watch it on that day. And then we talk about it and I do this every single day all the way through to Halloween. So get ready. It's about to get crazy. Starting with today's movie, which is Sunchoke, which is a drama horror mystery movie from 2015. And it was recommended by my friend Keenan, who's also a Patreon. Hey, Keenan. Um, and now I have to tell you guys, <laughs> I didn't really love this film. <laughs> No. I'm trying not to feel discouraged, but God, I really wanted to watch this movie for a really long time. And it was a little bit more experimental than I had even anticipated. Uh, I thought this was starting out, it seemed like a very dog tooth situation, um, but it was just a whole heap of montages. If you guys don't know what Sunchoke is about, um, it's one of those films that kind of slowly reveals itself, so I don't want to give away too much, but it is about a woman in recovery and um, she's a bit crazy <laughs> and she's trying to get a grip. Uh, I love some elements in this film. They're stalking, um, all for a stalker film. Um, it's really creepy in some parts, uh, how sinister and how strange she is. Like it's just creep, you know, like the movie Creep that I love. It's like she's creep, but not in like the fun, quirky, dark way, just in really fucking creepy. <laughs> um, the movie also features Barbara Crampton, which we love in the horror community. Uh, she does a great job. Uh, one scene is a little bit off, but other than that, great job for what she does. But overall, I did feel like the film was very much experimental. It really utilized as many montages as possible, as many light leaks as possible, and it didn't give me enough payoff or bang for my buck. I felt like the end was also very lackluster. Things I did like about the film, I love the mood and the tone. It's a very, very slow movie and sometimes I like that and I liked the vibe it had, but without having a really strong backbone to the story, and I'm all for like surrealist dreams, but I needed a backbone to kind of pull me through in that final act. So without that, the vibe was kind of a bit let down. Uh, but another thing I really liked was the music. The music was very subtle, it was very dreamy, and it was also very silent. And I think it's really great when a film plays in that silence instead of trying to amp up every situation, every emotion, and really let that silence be the thing that lets you feel really eerie and off and just just unsettled. And that's what a horror movie is meant to do. It's not meant to make you feel good, you know? This is a slowly developing story with amazing visuals that doesn't really go anywhere. And for that reason, I probably wouldn't recommend this one to most of you guys, unless you're really into experimental horror. Uh, check that out. Or you're a huge Barbara Crampton fan, check it out anyway. Um, but I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. And I think that's quite a fair score. Um, I'm giving it a score of that on the idea, the acting, the premise, and also the visuals. Um, but the story lacking, that's what I'm going to have to give it. Not the strongest start to my first day of 31 Days of Horror, but it can only get up from here, can it? It probably goes 
down now. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm very excited about and I can't wait to share it all with you guys. Thank you so much for being here today. Let's talk tomorrow for another 31 Days of Horror. If you watched Sunchoke, please let me know down in the comments what you thought, what your score was, and why. I'd love to read your responses. Let's just have a chat about it and let's encourage each other to get through the day. <laughs> I hope you guys are having an awesome day and happy October and I'll see you tomorrow.